Hello guys and welcome to this Lead Quizzes 3 video tutorial on GetResponse integration. Now in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can configure your GetResponse integration um, with your Lead Quizzes content. All right. Now um, first things first, ensure that you are logged into your Lead Quizzes 3 account. Now from your dashboard, um, you select the content in which you want to configure GetResponse integration on and you click on edit. Okay, now once you're on the builder, next you go to configure. You look for native integrations. You click on that. You click on add integration. In this window that appears, this configuration um, integration window, from the drop down, you select get response. Now on this drop down, all the integrations that you've added to your lead quizzes are going to appear in here. So you select get response integration. Now next you select um, a list from your get response account from the um, get response list drop down. All right, so on my get response account, I have two lists um, created, um, but um, you can as well go on and create more lists and you will find them under, under this drop down. Now once you click on um, the list, you'll get to see all the standard fields, the custom fields, and the tags that you have um, created for this list. They are gonna be pulled into um, your configuration section in here. So the standard fields are the usual email address, name, birth date, city, and all that. Now for the custom fields, you can say I went ahead to build a couple of custom fields. So question number one, question two, question three, question four, question five. And you can map out all the um, questions to these fields, and that way the responses are going to be sent to these fields in your active campaign under this lead. All right. So um, for the mapping, email address is required, right? Because this serves as the unique identifier for um, almost every CRM. All right. So you map the email address, then you map out the other fields you have. So let's start with the um, form field. So the name, the first name. Okay, then next questions. So I want to map out question number one, question number two, question number three, question number four, question number five, right? And also we need to map out the phone number and personal remarks and the results, okay? So for the results, bear in mind all these are custom fields I created in get response. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. All right. So results. Now we also had the phone mobile number field. So we can also map the mobile number in there. Okay. Now next, um, you can also apply tags to the question answers as well as the um, results in your quiz. So for example, if you want to send out email automations um, based on the results they get you want to send out different automations you can do that based on tags and you'll get response accounts and you can apply those tags um in lead quizzes on the the configuration section here on the tags okay so for example if i'm going to apply tags to the individual results i have to send out some um, different automations based on the results all i need to do is to first of all create these tags in my get response accounts and they are going to be pulled into lead quizzes and you can select them in here all right so these are tags that i already created result one result two result one result two result three and this is the thank you all right so once you're done with all of this you can go ahead to save it and you can see this um, configuration has been added for this particular content okay now next we can go on to test out um our quiz so let's just copy the url let's paste it in a new window
okay we hit submit and we get this result your skin seems to be in pretty bad shape okay so now if we go to our get response account okay if we go to lists So there you have it, Michael21. And if you click on this particular lead, you will get to see name, question number one, question two, question three, question four, question five, which are the fields we mapped out, the results he got for this particular content, also the tag, which was assigned to um the result one, since he got result one. Okay, so you can see all this information has been and pulled into your get response um, list and you can see all that on the, the um, clients under the lead um, section okay all right um next in the next video i'm just going to quickly show you how you can move on to um first of all create a list in your get response account secondly how you can create a tag and finally i'm going to show you how you can um, let's see create a custom field okay all right have a great day